Los Angeles Sparks rookie Cameron Brink recently shared her insights on the unique challenges and privileges faced by WNBA rookies, particularly focusing on the ongoing discourse surrounding fellow rookie Caitlin Clark. In an in-depth interview with Uproxx's Megan Armstrong, Brink delved into the pressures placed on new players, the unrealistic expectations they face, and the complexities of privilege within the league. Brink began by addressing the overarching narrative that pits veteran players against rookies and the unrealistic demands placed on new entrants to the league. She highlighted how both she and Clark, who was drafted first overall, have felt the weight of these expectations. Despite their impressive college careers, Brink emphasized that immediate perfection is an unreasonable expectation. The most tired narrative is that the vets are against the rookies, this old school versus new school narrative, and the narrative that the rookies need to be perfect. I feel like Caitlin Clark has that the worst right now, but even I get that. We're expected to be perfect. It's unrealistic, and it kind of just shows that people don't know basketball. Clark, coming off a stellar college career at Iowa with an average of 28.4 points per game and multiple accolades, entered the WNBA with immense pressure to replicate her collegiate success. However, the transition has been challenging. Although her basic statistics, such as averaging 15.6 points, 6.4 assists, and 5.1 rebounds per game, seem impressive, her 35.7% field goal percentage and league-high 5.4 turnovers per game reveal the difficulties of adapting to the professional level. Brink, drafted right after Clark, has also faced her own set of challenges but has shown promise, particularly on the defensive end. With averages of 8.8 .8 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 2.6 blocks per game, she is carving out her role in the league with efficiency. Beyond performance on the court, Brink discussed the broader issues of privilege and diversity within the WNBA. Acknowledging the inherent advantages that come with being a younger white player in a predominantly black league, Brink stressed the importance of fostering acceptance for all players, regardless of their appearance or identity. I will acknowledge there's a privilege for the younger white players of the league, and the privilege of appearing feminine. Some of my teammates are more masculine. Some of my teammates go by they, them pronouns. I want to bring more acceptance to that and not just have people support us because of the way that we look. This commentary touches on the delicate balance the WNBA must navigate in appealing to a wider audience while maintaining its commitment to diversity and inclusion. The league, known for its liberal stance and representation of the LGBTQ community, faces the challenge of expanding its fan base without compromising its values. With over 1 million Instagram followers and numerous public appearances, Brink is already a popular figure within the WNBA. She is using her platform to advocate for a more inclusive and supportive environment for all players. Her commitment to these values underscores the evolving nature of the league and its players, who are not just athletes but also influential voices in broader societal conversations. Cameron Brink's candid reflections offer a nuanced perspective on the multifaceted issues within the WNBA. As the league continues to grow and evolve, the voices of its players, both rookies and veterans, will be crucial in shaping its future. Brink's insights highlight the ongoing challenges and the potential for positive change within the sport, emphasizing the need for realistic expectations and greater acceptance of diversity.